Thank you, Nicole. When I said Jim Rogers could talk about anything, he can. He's here. He's the chairman of Rogers Holdings. He's also the author of many books, including Street Smarts. Jim made a comment. What, you, what were you saying about CVS? Well, I was just saying all they're doing is taking it out and putting it in. They're going to replace it with higher margin stuff. Everybody's saying, oh, aren't they good people? No, they, they're capitalists. They're trying to get rich. I applaud them. Do you think, I, I am curious, do you think that this will lead its competitors, CVS competitors, and, and other retailers Probably to Probably not, cut? because then the, the competitors will get the business. You know, that will be more walk-in for the competitors. CVS will benefit, but so will the competitors. All right, I love that. All right, let's talk about the world. Emerging markets looking ex extremely weak, certainly weighing on the markets here. How, how worried should we be about weakness, and, and even in China? But again, all of this is coming from the Federal Reserve. The guys in the Federal Reserve have been printing staggering amounts of artificial money. So everybody in the world is getting free money. And a lot of the people shouldn't have been getting free money. Turkey, Indonesia, India, huge balance of trade deficits. They got free money. They financed it at no interest rates. Now that the artificial ocean is drying up, this is not going to be good for anybody. And it's going to end, and it's going to be very bad for everybody when it finally ends. But so we are, well, how bad? I mean, and again, it's, we're not going to have equal fallout in all these markets. Are I mean, no, which, no, which market will be safer, which markets will be safer than others? No such thing as safe in the well, investment safer. world. Thing. You've been in the investment well, world it's the long difference enough to know that. It's the difference between a compound fracture and like five stitches in your hand. Some markets, will, some stocks will go down 80%. There's no question in the end, the, not this year, not this week, anything. But in the end, they'll go down 80 or 90%. Some will go down 30%. So you, you're going to get hurt either way. Well, do you, do you think that the U.S. is, I guess, more stable than other nations are? Hey, what's going to happen is they're going to keep cutting back, and then eventually there's going to be a lot of pain. And then those guys in Washington, remember, they're bureaucrats and academics. That's why they work for the government. They couldn't get a real job, so they'll start hurting. They'll be screaming everywhere. Then they'll start, oh, okay, we're sorry. They'll start printing money again. The markets will rally again, maybe even make new highs. Then, Wait, then you say start printing money end. again. Do you think so they retrench the Federal Bank, the Federal Reserve, the Central Bank retrenches on the bond buying that it's cut? Do you think that it I ramps suspect, it back up? But even if they don't do that, if they just say, okay, we're not going to, we're not going to do it anymore. We've, we've stopped at 60 million. You picked the number, billion, billion. You picked the number. At some point when the pain gets bad, they will panic and then they will do come to the rescue once again and that will lead to a big rally and probably a bubble or maybe a bubble okay. and then you should run a couple of things just real quick commodities like broad commodity ETFs have not done well three-year annualized return but do you not not uh, three years but remember you remember the stock market the bull market between 82 and 2000 87 yeah. 1987 stocks went down 40 to 80 percent 89 90 94 and everybody said the bull market's over it wasn't we have corrections all the time in, in bull markets. That's the way markets work. And one last thing, graphene, you're talking Yeah, graphene, uh, graphene is a miracle. You really should It was learn. a development by two... Um, two British, they won the Nobel Prize. Right. I mean, this is not some redneck from Alabama talking about graphene. This is, this is Nobel. Even Obama talked about graphene in the State of the Union. This is going to change the world. You should, it's thinner than paper and stronger than steel. It is astonishing. You can, do, you can make clothes out of it. You can make cars. You can make airplanes. You can make anything. It's astonishing. Well, I've always and don't listen to me. Listen to the Nobel Prize. I always wanted an outfit that matches my car, so there you go. You got it. You got <laughs> I was it. talking about a redneck from the <laughs> South. It's all about the car. I have a redder neck than you. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're two peas in a pod. Jim, it was great to see you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Jim Thank Rogers. You. He literally talked about almost everything. <laughs> yeah, you guys covered pretty much the gamut, except, except the debt ceiling, luckily enough. So we'll take this up now from Washington as the deadline.